Hey tubers, I don't know how well you can hear me, it's raining and I don't got insulation in my ceiling in the garage here. But I got a new carburetor for the three-wheeler. That there is the old one, that there is the new one obviously. Um, 18 bucks, I think I bought it on eBay. Um, I think I'm going to have to switch the fuel lines, I don't know if I'm going to be able to keep my fuel filter. This is kind of a cheap, shitty fuel line anyway. So, uh, anyway, what I got going on here is... I got a leaky fucking garage. Rain comes right in through that door there. But anyway, basically all you need to do this is a uh, number 10, 10 millimeter socket. Um, you might have to have one of these fancy doohickey screw deals. You're going to have to have a quarter inch uh, wrench there. A 7 16th or an 11 millimeter. I couldn't find my 11 millimeter, so I'm stuck with a 7 16th. You uh, take the seat and the gas tank off, you disconnect your fuel lines. Your carburetor sits right in there. You take off the, the bolts there for that. You pop the air cleaner uh, rubber hose dealio out and pull the carburetor right out. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but that's the only way I know how to do it. Um, so yeah, you just got to disconnect this, your fuel line, you pull this out of the top up here. I'm going to put a new air cleaner in it and uh, give it a tune-up. Got a 50 mile fundraiser run that I'm doing this weekend, so I got a little bit of tune-up to do on it before it's ready to make that run. But anyway, that's just a quick overview on switching out the carburetor on the Honda 200E. It's a 1982. Thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.